So it's like, why is like Kim Kardashian or Chris Hemsworth, some of the people I work with, why are they interested in this stuff, right? It makes you curious, at, le at the very least. So there is legitimate science to it. And the reason why people are curious is because stem cells, I mean, they've been around for decades, but they never really led to the results we wanted. And they're like the repair guys in your body, right? We all have them. They go around there, they fix things. But as you get older, what happens to any carpenter if you make them work too much? They just yeah. they stop doing their job, right? They're just like, I'm tired. It's called stem cell exhaustion. So yeah. it's actually one of the hallmarks of aging. And then they just can't do their job effectively. And so they can't repair tissue as well. And when you have more damage than repair, that's what leads to aging, right? Mm -hmm. Your damage process is more than your repair process. When you're young, if you get a cut, you heal fast, right? When you're old, you don't heal as fast. And a big part of that is because of stem cells. So of course, naturally, there's always an interest, right? Being like, what if we can harness these repair guys and put them in your body and make you heal everything? And that's what we thought. Like in 1992, when mesenchymal stem cells, which is like the most common type of stem cell, when that was first discovered, they were thought it's going to cure everything. But, and then in 2006, there was another discovery in Japan called induced pluripotent stem cells, which got the Nobel Prize. And they thought that was going to cure everything, but it didn't. And, and the reason was because we couldn't get these stem cells to survive in the body, and we couldn't really control what happened when they go in the body. Mm -hmm. But then there's a huge breakthrough in 2010, and that was Professor Mari Dezawa, who discovered something called MUSE stem cells, M-U-S-E. Yes. And those are the ones I use for Tony and Kim and all these people because they're special, because they survive better in the body, and they're what's called pluripotent, which means they can turn into anything. They're like little chameleons. Yeah. So if you want them to turn into heart cells, brain cells, whatever you need, they'll do. And th the beauty is they survive better and they're, and they're safe, b meaning they're non-tumorogenic, they don't cause cancer, which is the risk with a lot of these other stem cells. So they have that safety profile as well and then efficacy as well. So that was kind of the big breakthrough, but the irony, I guess, in, in medicine, a lot of the discoveries are by accident, right? 